Joseph Kanani lives on what appears to be an island, living as a squatter surrounded by farms that do not belong to him. He and his extended family are Batwa people, an indigenous minority in Burundi. Living in poor conditions in a village north of Burundi's capital, Bujumbura, Kanani says his family once owned land extending to the foothills, but all that is gone. We do not have land. In the past, we have had no representation in the government, and anyone could come and build right in the middle of our land. The public will treat us like dogs that cannot bite. Historically, the Bata community, 1% of the Burundi population, often worked as servants. This perception dominates their lives even now, says Deo Gracias Ntiko Zahira Waling, a local government officer. They were not allowed to enter people's homes. They were seen to be backward with no value and no future. Things have changed. People visit them, but the only obstacle is that there is no intermarriage with them. Even now, it cannot happen. Their births go unrecorded, so the Batwa have no legal status. With no land to cultivate, Kanani fends for his young family of three children by making bricks. He earns 45 U.S. cents a day, barely enough for a day's meal.